right, I am back at my new favorite place. <laughs> it, it actually did rain, you know, I said yesterday, oh, I hope that it rains, um, but I don't think we have rain in the forecast. Well, it's kind of spinning right now, and it did rain a little bit last night. So I'm excited to see how different the ground digging is after it's been raining a little bit. And with all the cloud coverage, it makes it so nice because it's not so hot. Um, but here's where I am. And I'm gonna do this field a little bit and do around. I never did get over to those picnic tables, so I'm gonna try to get over to those picnic tables today and see what I can find. All right, I am on my first signal, and it is a 25, which should be a 10 yen coin, but it could also be a US dime. So let's see, let's see what it is. There it is, 10 yen coin. Nice, nice way to start the day. Okay, I have my second signal. It's 11.12, so it should be 100 yen coin. Let's see if we can see it. Should be right there. Let's see. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Lordy, lordy, lordy. And you know what I forgot to get? I forgot to go get a, a um, bandana. Oh, there it is. Hey, there we go. 100 yen, nice. Okay, 110 yen so far. I've been here, I don't know, what, five minutes? Not so bad. Well, that's a quarter. Shall we see if it's right at the surface? It says it is. Let's see. Let's see. Can we see it just by moving the grass around? One U.S. quarter. Very nice. Okay, that's it. Okay, I have another dollar signal. I've gotten several coins since I last had the camera on. Um, I just, <laughs> ever since I got the, um, the grommet, I didn't want to turn the camera on because, you know, oops. There it is. There's my 100 yen coin. One dollar. Um, I just, <laughs> it seems like I'm always digging grommets. So I just didn't want to risk filming a bunch of grommet digging today. And um, I said, oh, I'm just gonna dig the signals for one dollar and five dollar coins. But then of course I dug a signal for a quarter cause that's always good too. And I was thinking I was digging a $5 coin and it ended up being a grommet. And so I just didn't want to dig that signal anymore, 
which, wait a minute now, there's a possibly a 500 yen coin. It says it's pretty deep. Let's see if it shows up on the garret. If it's not so, so deep. Oh, well, the grass is super thick still, so that's probably accounting for some of the depth. Um, anyway, if you happen to be in or near New Jersey, I got this, um, my second Equinox 800 while I was visiting my son in New Jersey, and it was at Lacey Metal Detectors in New Jersey, um, in Bayville, New Jersey, and they're a mom and pop store, so I always like to, you know, spend my money at stores like that because they're local people trying to make a living. And um, Bob and Sandy is their name. Super nice folks, super nice folks. So if you're in the area and you need any metal detecting supplies, I would highly recommend them. Really nice, very knowledgeable. They'll show you their fun finds that they have found. And um, really nice people. Anyway, let's get back to it. All right, I have a 10 yen coin. The thing about 10 yen coins is, well, 10 yen and one yen, and I guess five yen too, they ring so loud and bright that it's hard to pass up on them. Let's see. Huh, it's back further than I thought. No, maybe there's two. Nope. <laughs> oh man. I turned my, I cut my plug the wrong direction. That's a bummer. Let's see if I can widen it up a little bit. Come on. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a one yen coin. See, <laughs> that's the other thing. 10 yen, one yen, and five yen kind of ring up anywhere between 20 and 26. And they're so loud and bright. Just a really good signal. I like one yen, they spend. They spend just like anything else. And this is a nice, nice one with a lot of markings. Uh, all right, I found a 500 yen, $5 coin signal. It's, but you know what? This might not be, well, maybe it is. Let's, let's give it a little dig. I hope it's not just some big piece of aluminum, aluminum. I hope it's really a five yen coin because that would be fun. Whoop. And that ain't it. Let's see. I tell you what, the dirt is a lot nicer digging today since it rained a little bit. It's just a <laughs> the base of a light bulb. There you go. How's that for a $5 coin? Bummer. Okay, so I wanted to do just a quick, I've been here for maybe 20 minutes and I wanted to do just a quick little review of what I have found in 20 minutes. And that is a tent stake, a bottom of a light, two pieces of can and a grommet. What would a day be for me without finding a grommet? And then a quarter, three 100 yen coins, a 10 yen coin, and two 1 yen coins. So that's um, three 35, 37, $3.37. That's pretty nice for 20 minutes. That's awesome. All right, I'll turn it on when I get the next good signal. All right, I have the ever elusive 500 yen coin signal right here. And now all of a sudden it's kind of starting to pick up in rain. So let's see. Oh no. It's just a pull tab. Let's make sure. Nope, just a pull tab. How do you like them apples? Since wind is a pull tab, and this is an old one. Since when does a pull tab start ringing up as a $5 coin? forever, I guess. <laughs> All right, I'm taking a chance on this 910 signal. Hoping that it is some kind of jewelry. 
and let's see. It's out of the hole. Let's see. Where is it? Where are you? Hidden gem. It's got to be something so incredibly tiny. There, I think I saw something. Oh, it's a beaver tail. Or no, it's, you know, the, the stay tab, how you put pull it up and it pushes this little thing down. Okay, well, I know not to do that signal again. <laughs> All right, I have a quarter signal right here. And let's see if I got it in one. No. no. All right. It's really, um, the grass here is really, um, I don't know, the, the roots are super strong, super thick and, ah, and um, hard to break through. Oh, wait a minute. It's not a quarter at all. What the heck is it? Oh, it's somebody's coin. How fun is that? Air Force, nice. What a treat. Oh my goodness, I love it. OSA, let's see. I'm gonna have to clean this off really good. 18, Okinawa. Oh, how fun is that? How much fun is that? I can't really see what that says, but I'll have to clean it and get a really good look at it. Oh, that's so cool. All right, this is definitely the find of the day. <laughs> warriors, nice. Guess I need to go meet the warriors. I need to clean this coin off and show them what I found. How much fun is that? Okay, I have a signal right here. Right there. And it is for a $1 coin. Of course, I thought I was going for a quarter a minute ago and got a really cool metal. So, oh, there's my one dollar coin. Oh no, it's a nickel. <laughs> oh goodness, it's a nickel. Nickels ring up the same as one dollar coins. I can't see the date because, you know, I'm blind as a bat. Let's see, can I see it? No. Can't see it. 1980, it's either 1980 or 1986. How fun is that? <laughs> okay, I have another $1 signal right here. Okay, let's see if it's gonna be a dollar or a nickel or something else entirely. <laughs> okay, looks like we have it right here somewhere. Yes, we do. Oh, there it is. And it's a 50 yen. All right. I have another 500 yen coin signal. And let's see. Boy, I don't think this is gonna be a 500 yen coin because it says it's like all over. something big. Nate would say it's a big ass beer can buried really deep. <laughs> okay, I feel like I hit something right here, like a rock or something metal. I bet that's gonna ring. Oh, there's another one of those big grub bugs. Watch out, buddy. Uh, I have a feeling it is 
tan or something. And I don't know that I necessarily want to dig it. Oh, it's something big. <laughs> I don't think I want to dig it. Oh, gosh. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Whatever it is, this is it. And I have no idea what it is. But it takes up a lot of real estate. I'm trying to slide it out without... Huh. Well, that's definitely it. <laughs> There's a guy practicing over there, driving a big rig. what that is but it's big and that's what it is so let's bury that back up and I don't know what this is something metal that's for sure I guess I'll take it over to the trash can because I definitely I'm not gonna lug it home and you guys remember what it looked like for the wrap up because I'm not taking it home. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it in the garbage can. <sighs> There's another 17, 18. Surely that's a 500 yen coin, right? <sighs> Let's see if it's at the surface. Nope, not at the surface. I'll come back with my buddies and see if we can't get some more of this stuff dug. I want to go, it's starting to rain again, and I want to go down on the beach and uh, see what I can find on the beach. Because this is just too many signals for me. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by signals. All right, I have another dollar signal right there. If I can get it dug up and not disturb the grass too much. Uh oh, no, it's not a dollar. Some big D. <laughs> my maiden name is Donahue. I guess I could hang that up. Oh, my lordy lordy, how do I get these things? All right, today's hunt was really close to one of my favorite hunts because I found that cool coin, squadron coin for the 18th Operation Support Squadron. And I tried to look it up online and it must be fairly old because I can't find one that looks like it at all. So anyway, um, they're memento coins that maybe a squadron commander or somebody would get and they pass out to people that they meet. And for example, my husband had to brief the Secretary of Defense, William Cohen, once and um, he gave Kevin his coin. So next time I'm in his office, I'll, I'll do a video of Kevin's coins because they're kind of fun. And anyway, let's get to the wrap up. All right, so here's the trash can slaw. I swear this stuff is so thick and rings so high, but it's just can slaw, a little metal top to a, like, like a toothpaste tube, or I don't know what, but two beaver tails and four pull tabs. I found a US nickel, a US quarter, three 100 yen coins, one 50 yen coin, one 10 yen coin, and three one yen coins. And then I found this really pretty little piece of glass. And here it is, the treasure of the day, the find of the day. Oh my goodness, I am so excited about this. It says Okinawa, 18. That's not the year, that is the 18th support squadron and so that's uh, their logo which I can find the logo 
or right here is the logo. I can find the logo. They're called the Warriors, apparently. 18th Operations Support Squadron. And then I don't know what these things along the side mean. And I'm going to do a better job at cleaning this up. Um, but this is definitely the find of the day. I am so excited to have this. It's heavy. It's really cool. And it was so much fun to pull out of the ground. I, I would love to find out how long it's been there, though, um, because it's just, it's really neat. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the hunt today. Um, if you would like to see more content like this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you a thing, but it sure does help me out a lot. And I will um, hopefully be taking you on a new hunt tomorrow. If it's not raining too hard, it was so windy today that it was really interfering with my, um, you know, sound. So I, I don't like to film on days like that, even when I have a sock on my camera. Anyway, have a good day and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.